What is up, you guys? It's your boy Shazane back with yet another amazing day of trading. So today made around 875 bucks total over three trades. So we're just gonna get right into what I traded and why I traded them. So <clears throat> first up, sorry, first up we have E A R S, right? Uh, this one, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way first because there's not too much to talk about. Uh, made about 60 bucks on it. This was kind of just a quick scalp. And uh, EARS, guys, when it gaps up, uh, if it can break the pre market high, usually it can go on a run. If it can't, uh, but it's able to find some sort of consolidation and support, um, typically it can see a nice little bit of a move to the upside. So I got in uh, around like 74, 75 cents, I think, and sold around like 77 ish. Uh, I just didn't like. Uh, the buying volume I didn't think there was too much of it going on so I didn't want to hold it for too long get caught in a dump or anything like that so that was just my quick scalp on EARS honestly I probably should have actually stayed away from this trade this was kind of just impulsive uh, but I ended up being profitable on it so not really complaining here next up we have A N Y so A N Y uh, if you look at the 30 minute chart 10 day, uh, you can see that it had this initial spike over here uh, where it um, ended up getting halted and then coming on back down. And then it started to have like this nice little grind to the upside. Uh, and then on this day over here, it ended up getting squeezed pretty hard. All the shorts ended up getting squeezed pretty hard and it uh, ran up to around $7.18 the next day. Uh, so, you know, stocks, you guys, for me personally, in my opinion, tend to have, uh, they can have like personalities, if you will, where um, if they act or if they behave in a certain way in regards to price action and uh, chart patterns and technical analysis, they will be likely to do it again or uh, witness similar trading behavior and patterns. So today I was kind of looking for the same thing. Uh, so if we go to the five minute chart here, you can see that uh, on the previous trading day, it came down to around here and then found like this nice support in bottom around this area over here. And so today I was really just looking for a break of that and that's what ended up happening. So a lot of buying volume ended up coming in around uh, this four, the break of $4.50. So I took a position, I think I got in a little bit later, around like 4.63 ish and ended up selling, I think around like four, like the 480s, 490s, something like that. Um, yeah, so you can see I missed out on quite a bit of a move. And then some other things I was looking at, I didn't end up trading again, but I didn't end up trading this again. But just so you guys know, some other potential areas, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, some other potential areas where you could have looked to buy in if you missed that move. Uh, this nice little, I've talked about this pattern before where it forms this nice little bottom and ends up uh, curling back on up. So that would have been a nice move. And then if you look at the bigger picture play, uh, you can see that it had this initial sort of spike all the way up till here. And then a nice pullback, some consolidation, and then some higher lows start forming. And so, you know, when it started moving up around here, maybe breaking this area of resistance, that would have been a nice place to buy and you could have made 10 to like 13 14 percent actually and then if you held actually yeah that's about it maybe 18 percent <coughs> max <coughs> excuse me and uh lastly we have tis this is actually what i traded first but i wanted to get to it last because it was my most amount of profit so 510 dollars uh, and basically why I entered this, this had an, like a very massive gap of, of like over 200%, I think like around 225%. And, like and <clears throat> during pre-market, a little bit before market opened, it started to have a nice pullback. And on the five minute chart, you can see this nice sort of bull flag start to form. And so come market open, I was looking for a break of that descending trend that descending trend line uh, that was forming this sort of bull flag and when it got that break I was actually pretty late to it um, I managed to buy in around like two dollars and sixteen cents 
uh, ended up getting filled. I think I actually tried to buy around two dollars and sixteen cents, but at that point there was a, like a lot of volume coming in, a bit of a spread. So I actually got filled at around like two dollars and twenty-five cents, and it was pretty ugly. I had to hold through this this candle that came all the way back to two dollars and seven cents. So uh, two dollars six cents, I think. Yeah, two oh six was the low, and so I was down quite a bit. I think I was down like close to four hundred dollars. Um. But my thought process was that as long as it held this area of like pre-market support, uh, then I would hold it, and it ended up doing that. Uh, so afterwards, I, I came down to like right like the exact cent that my stop loss was, and so I was actually about to hit sell, and then I ended up moving back on. I'm getting this nice squeeze up till around uh, 240. What is this? 243. I sold around like 237, 238, I think. And the reason I got out there is because typically, guys, if a stock moves this much pre-market, like 200%, it's likely that it's not going to get a continuation after market opens, and it's probably going to like dump back on down for the rest of the day. Um, so, yeah. So, and a lot of people will use the pre-market high as a good area to get in short. They will actually get into position a little bit earlier than that. So I ended up taking my profit where I thought. Uh, a lot of shorters would come in and where volume, buying volume started to fade a little bit. That being said, guys, um, I do like this trade potentially for a trade on Monday because it held more than half its gains and uh, it is now starting to form what looks like higher lows. So if you take into consideration pre-market, it's like higher low. Is this higher low? Okay, this is like a nice little double bottom here, and then higher lows here. So if it breaks above like a dollar ninety, maybe two dollars, I might look to get in. Um, I would imagine that two fifty would meet it with pretty tough resistance, so I'd probably sell somewhere around there if it even got up that high. If it even ends up making a move to the upside come Monday. That being said, uh, some other plays I'm looking at for Monday are A and Y again because. Uh, if you look here, so uh, ended up meeting some pretty tough resistance around this area, but it still held um, this area of resistance from the previous trading day as its new support today. So if we can potentially get a move back on to the upside, maybe above like 585, maybe above $6, we could see a nice move on up. Only thing to be careful about is that, as you can see here, this whole area is kind of serving as pretty tough resistance. Um, the mid six dollars to seven dollars area is pretty tough. But guys, if it happens to get a ton of buying volume on Monday um, and squeeze some shorts, this could be like a massive move for Monday because uh, after this, after this gap to fill, guys, like there's not much in its way to coming up all the way to around like 15 maybe even $20. Uh, so that is something I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on for Monday. Uh, another thing is AKER. So you can't see it here, but over here you can see that AKER had this massive gap up a few days ago. Ended up dumping, sorry, dumping on back down pretty hard. Uh, but ever since then, it has been it formed like this triple bottom here, and has now been making like higher lows day after day. So if it can actually get above like 170, maybe like 180, 185, I might consider going long on this stock because, as we know, uh, if a stock can sort of stay grinding uh, to the upside for multiple days, uh, that is a very scary thing for shorts especially when it starts getting above these areas of resistance that are formed over here a lot of them will cover and it can easily lead to a short squeeze so i would imagine if it does squeeze somewhere around like two dollars seven two oh two ten maybe two twenty five and if it gets above that it could potentially climb close to this high over here so we'll see about all that on monday but yeah, that's it for today, guys. So the trades I made today, profited on, were EARS sixty dollars, um, ANY three hundred and six dollars, and TIS for 
five hundred and ten dollars. So solid trading day, guys. I um, uh, hope you guys like this recap. Hope you guys find it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. Um, and yeah, other than that, guys, have a great weekend. Look forward to the markets opening on Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. And yeah, that will be it for today. All right, peace out.